Hi guys! Welcome back to Champ's Japanese Kitchen! So today, we're going to be making Katsudon! Crispy tonkatsu, delicious egg over rice! So, let's get cooking! But before we begin guys, I want to say a big thank you to our sponsor, Tipsy Sake. I've shown you some of the more traditional sake they have on offer, but today they were kind enough to send us three delicious fruity liqueur type sakes, peach, yuzu, and even plum. I'm super excited to try these. Hmm, let's see. Let's start with this one here. Hey wait, no! Don't end the sponsoring just yet. I still have to drink these. Okay, fine. I will show you guys the recipe first, I guess. Today, we're gonna be using two pork shoulder slices about one inch or 2.5 centimeter thick for two servings of our katsudon. Before we start though, let's add a few small cuts into the meat where the fat connects. This will prevent your tonkatsu from curling up when you fry later. And let's do that on both sides. Next, we want to make our pork a little more tender. So I have this tenderizing gadget here that creates small holes on the surface of the pork like this, but feel free to just use a fork too. Let's do this on both sides before seasoning our pork with salt and pepper. Once that's done, we're gonna bread our tonkatsu. Make sure the… whoops. Uh, let's pretend we didn't see that. First, we want to cover our pork in flour and wipe off any excess. Then, we're gonna dip this in two beaten eggs before covering it in panko breadcrumbs. We're gonna firmly press down to make sure this all sticks. That's our first one done! Now, here's a champ tip. This isn't the traditional way of doing this, but you can also make a type of batter by combining the egg and flour together. For one egg, add 3 tablespoons of flour, 2 teaspoons of water, and 1 teaspoon of any cooking oil. Give that a good mix so the flour is all dissolved. And then, just do the same as before, dip in the mixture, and then in the panko. Maybe this will be easier and less messy if you don't want to wash so many dishes later. Now, with both of our katsu breaded, it's fine time! I'm using rice oil here and we want enough in our pan so cover the whole of our meat. We're gonna let this heat up to 160 degrees celsius or 320 fahrenheit. To check, you can use a cooking thermometer or a cool temperature gun like this. Beep <laughs> And then, we'll turn this down a bit and add our pork. You may want to do this one at a time, depending on how big your pan is. We will let this cook for about 3 minutes on one side. Try not to move it too much or turn it over more than once. Or else, the breading might come off. You also want to keep the oil around 160 to stop things from burning. Once 3 minutes is up, let's check that a nice brown color on the bottom. And we will turn that over. If your pork is a little thinner, it may cook a little quicker. So try and look out for this nice brown color. We're gonna leave this cooking for another 3 minutes like this, making sure the temperature stays mostly the same. Now, 3 minutes has passed, let's check this has turned golden brown. And actually, tonkatsu chefs in Japan look at the bubbles to check it's cooked all the way through. Once the bubbles start getting smaller like this, that's a sign the pork is done. We will take these out and plate them standing up on the rack, so the oil drips off. Looks so good, but don't eat them just yet. We need to prepare the rest of our katsudon ingredients while that cools down. Let's slice up a quarter of an onion and prepare some mitsuba, which is Japanese parsley, to go on top of our katsudon. You can skip this if you want. And just to add a little bit more vegetables, I'm also gonna add some long Japanese green onion, which we call negi. But this isn't so traditional. I will just cut up a few inches of the white part of the negi into thin strips. Now, it's time to make the kaeshi, 
or sauce base for our katsudon. Into a pan, I'm gonna add 1 tablespoon of cooking sake, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin, and 4 teaspoons of dashi stock, which you can check my previous videos for how to make. We will turn that up to a boil and let that simmer for 2 minutes. This is enough for one serving by the way, so adjust for how many you will be making. Okay, time to put this all together. Into a frying pan, let's add our kaishi sauce. And turn our pan to a medium heat. When that starts to simmer, let's add our onions. And put a lid on our pan for about a minute until those onions start to turn translucent. While we wait for that, we can also cut up our katsu. Oh, listen to that. Nice and crispy. Now, back to our pan. Our onions are cooked through. So, let's add our katsu in. And then, place our negi on top. Then, finally, let's cover that in beaten egg. I've used one for one serving. Put our lid back on top and keep an eye on it. We don't want this to overcook, so we will only cook this for about 20 seconds before adding our mitsuba and then cook for another 30 seconds. Now, take a spatula to make sure none of that eggs is stuck to the pan. Finally, it's time to put this over our rice and... Before we dig in, it's finally time for me to try this sake from Tipsy. Sometimes, sake can be a bit intimidating if you've never tried it before, but with Tipsy, everything is made super easy and you can find sakes based on your own tastes and what food you want to pair them with. Also, if you're not a fan of stronger alcohol tastes, Tipsy also stocks more fruity liquor type sakes like they sent me today. This one is plum or ume in Japanese. Oh, this one has a nice sour taste. Very Japanese. This one is yuzu, which is a citrus fruit found here in Japan. Very clear and refreshing. And this one is momo, which is peach. Oh, nice and sweet. Hmm, which one is my favorite though? So hard to choose. Yappari yuzu ka. They're all good. But, this is my favorite! Check out the description box below if you want to try Tipsy for yourself and use code CHAMP and OV. Now, back to katsudon. Okay, that's our katsudon done, guys. Itadakimasu! Mmm, it's so good! The crispy tonkatsu and fluffy egg is great combination. Ipanteki ni no katsudon ni wa naganegi wa haitte imasen. Demo watashi wa aji ni accent o tsuketa katta no to yori healthy ni shita katta no de naganegi o tsuika shimasa. Try making katsudon at your home. And remember not to overcook the egg. Then You'll be winner! Anata ga katsu! Let me know any other recipes you want to see. And finally, we all say... Gotsu sasha!